So again, my name is, is this one working? My name is Michael Tackett. So. My name is Michael Tackett. I'm from Thomson Reuters in Philadelphia. Um, so first, thank you, uh, Abel, and all the organizers of this conference for having myself and a couple of my colleagues also from Thomson Reuters. Um, it's a real pleasure to be in, in the company of such uh, really brilliant and accomplished scholars. It's, it's a bit humbling, I'll have to say. Um, and as others have said, very warm congratulations or happy birthday on your 15th anniversary. It's quite an accomplishment. Um, and I'd also like to say thank you to Abel and all the Cielo staff that have worked with us at Thomson Reuters over the past year in getting this project off the ground. Uh, there's been a lot of back and forth with regard to the content and bringing that into our processes. And they've been, they've been very good to work with. And it's really been a, a pleasure to, to work on that with them. So, let me just back up a little bit. So as Abel mentioned, um, I'm very pleased to announce that the CLO Citation Index is now available on the Web of Knowledge platform. Um, it sits alongside the Web of Science and other databases on the platform um, and allows searching um, across, the, across a number of different um, databases on the platform to retrieve results from both the CLO Citation Index and the Web of Science simultaneously. With the release of the index, we are both increasing the visibility of content globally, as well as making that content much more accessible um, within the local countries that contribute to the database itself. This contributes both to the mission of Cielo in increasing visibility, and also to Thomson Reuters, where we are very interested in, in creating the most comprehensive discovery tool for researchers to find research, whether it's of international importance, or local importance, or global importance overall. In the next 20 minutes or so, I will give you a little bit of background on the, web of no on, the, on the web of knowledge and the business that we do at Thomson Reuters in Philadelphia. I'll review the key functionality of the Cielo Citation Index. And then I'll talk a little bit about the content process, just to stress the importance of, of having quality metadata that we can use when we're creating this index. So as you all are probably very aware, um, the index is, is covering important research from Latin America, Spain, Portugal, the Caribbean, and South Africa. Um, it's hosted on the platform. It includes the Spanish and Portuguese interfaces. And, and as I said, it's a result of a very strong collaboration uh, between the Web of Science and ISI staff, if you will, in Philadelphia and the folks here in Sao Paulo. So I, I do want to give you a little bit of background on the group within Thomson Reuters that is responsible for this. We are known as the Scientific and Scholarly Research Division of the company. Um, some of you may be more familiar with ISI, or the Institute for Scientific Information. Um, but our group's mission is to provide, professionals, provide professional users with the quality information, research platforms, and services they need to accelerate their research, discovery, and innovation, and to address many of today's greatest scientific challenges. Our roots go back to really the start of bibliometrics. Um, Dr. Eugene Garfield, some 50 plus years ago, uh, really revolutionized scientific research with his vision of tools that would enable to researchers to fast track their research, evaluate the impact of their work, spot scientific trends, and trace the history of modern scientific thoughts. He began indexing scholarly research bibliographic data to make it easier for scientific researchers to search between disciplines and to find all the information relevant to their work, following connections across research and researchers around the world. His company, ISI, was acquired by Thomson some 20 years ago, and the business has expanded over the years through complementary businesses such as adding EndNote, and Scholar One, and Biosis. We've also innovated as a company, um, bringing new products focused on analytics and research performance management, and we've expanded our definition of what we think of as scholarly outputs with indexing of books and data over the, over the recent years. And now, with the Cielo Citation Index, we are taking a very important step to expanding to cover regionally important content. This is a strategy that we feel is key to providing researchers around the world with the best and also the broadest view to important research. In terms of who we serve, um, it's really everyone involved in research, funders, producers, consumers, um, anyone accessing, analyzing, and managing quality research information. Students, teachers, researchers, and scholars worldwide. We have over 6,500 customers globally, 
Um, the home office for our division is based in Philadelphia, but we have international offices around the world, several here in Latin America, in Rio, um, Buenos Aires, Mexico City. Um, a couple of my colleagues here, Adiane Teixeira and Isabel Reese, are here uh, from the local offices. Some of you may know them. So just taking, taking a little bit of a look, if you will, at the organization of content on the Web of Knowledge platform. It's based on the Web of Science at the core with its various citation indexes, the Science Citation Index, the Social Science Citation Index, Arts and Humanities, Conference, conference Proceedings, the Book Citation Index. And that's complemented by a number of databases that surround it. And, and notably there down at the bottom is the Cielo Citation Index, which is expanding our coverage again to give us very good coverage of regionally important research that's coming out in Latin America and beyond. So with the Cielo Citation Index, um, we are really looking at um, increasing visibility and expanding discovery for researchers globally. Um, it increases the visibility of the collection and expands discovery of content across all of those regions. In terms of thinking about this as we talk to customers around the world and talk to folks about the importance of the collection, we really think about it from the angle of researchers and librarians and publishers and funders. For researchers, it allows them to discover journal literature that covers expanding research, emerging regional research topics, track discoveries, specific disciplines, help facilitate collaboration with regionally influential colleagues, and to really um, view this work within the broader context of global and international scholarship. For librarians, who are, are most of our customer base, um, it provides their researchers with access to regionally influential research that otherwise wasn't available previously on just the web of science. And for publishers and funders, it allows them to pinpoint influential researchers with new discoveries in rapidly growing and influential countries. As Abel mentioned, there are approximately 700 titles that are in the index at launch. Um, that is uh, a significant addition to the titles that are covered within the web of science already. So more than 400 of them are new to the platform. There are over 6 million cited references in the database. All the titles are open access with links to full text. Um, for those of you familiar with the Web of Science Citation Index on the platform, the feature set is very similar to that. And the content will be updated on a weekly basis as data feeds are delivered from the main office here in, in Sao Paulo from the Cielo Group. At a high level, the content is very multidisciplinary, ranging from agricultural studies to health sciences to social sciences. The category information is all available as metadata within the articles, um, and that can be searched and refined and sorted uh, within the platform based on information provided by the Cielo database. I'll give you a little bit of an example, um, a search example here. Um, first off, the, the Cielo Citation Index is available on what we call the Select a Database pa page on the platform. Um, that allows the user to, to identify a specific collection or to search across the entire set of databases on the platform. In this case, um, the researcher is searching for something on tree species or especies arboreas. Um, accents and diacriticals are supported, so the content, uh, the query can be entered with or without those special accents, and the result set will achieve the same. So we, re we retain them for presentation of the results and for display, um, but they are not required for searching. On the search results, um, all of the titles um, have an English language translation as well as Spanish or Portuguese if that's available. So that will pre be presented directly in the search results. And along the left hand side you'll see the refine panel that allows the easy refinement of results to drill down into a specific set of results or to refine a set for further analysis. The full record, uh, most of the content, most of the articles do have the abstracts in both English and the local language. If we drill in a bit, we'll take a look at some of the citation metrics. So there are two citation metrics that appear on the full records. Um, one of those is the number of times an article has been cited specifically within the Cielo collection. And if you click on that link there, that would take you into um, the citing articles from Cielo. And then on the right-hand side is the time cited across all of the citation indexes on the platform. So that allows you to see sort of the broader impact of that particular article outside of the regional collection. 
Uh, here's another example of a link that we have within the database. Um, as I mentioned, last year we created something called the Data Citation Index, where we started indexing data sets um, across some 125 data repositories around the world and making the connections from those data sets to the literature that has cited them. So this isn't information that's received from Cielo specifically, but because we have awareness that this particular article has cited a data set, we then create a link to add to that particular record, which takes you to the record for a data, data, site, data set on the platform, which then would take you out to the actual data set, in this case, something at the uh, International Consortium of Political Science Research. Access to full text is fairly straightforward. Um, with all of the records, we have links out to the full text at the Cielo database. And then this is something that we call our citation scorecard. Um, so if a user has gone in through the all databases search or they follow that link on the right-hand side of that full record, uh, they will get to this citation scorecard, which highlights the, the citation counts across the entire platform for this particular article, but also allows the, the user to drill into the specific citations, whether it be in the Cielo Citation Index or perhaps in Biosis, as this example is showing, or other citation indexes on the platform. There are also a number of analytical tools within the platform. Um, the ability to create a result set and graphically view the number of items published over a year and the number of citations to that result set. Um, again, for those of you familiar with the Bubba Science, the same analytical capabilities that are present with that citation index, index are also available on the Cielo Citation Index. Similarly, citation maps for records within Citation Index uh, can be created, and that allows the user to see sort of the backward start of the article, the references that were used, or the forward links into the citing items, and they can do some, some different um, sort of configuration of the data to, to color code those by author or title or the publication year of the items that are in those result sets. And lastly, functionality-wise, um, we do integrate with uh, EndNote, Researcher ID, a number of other bibliographic management tools. Um, users can also export results into a sort of open file format that they can do, they can take and do offline analysis with. And overall, just to bring it back to the sort of overall composition of the web of knowledge, this really does add a very unique additional set of content to the platform, enhances the, the set of dis data that, that a researcher can, can do discovery and analysis across. Um, this just gives an example of when a user goes in and does a search across the entire collection, they can then refine that only to results from Cielo Citation Index if they'd like to see that. And the last thing I want to talk a little bit about um, is our process for, for managing the data. Uh, again, as I said, it's been a very successful collaboration over the last several months with Abel and colleagues here in Sao Paulo. Um, and I just want to give a little bit of a flavor of how this all works, because it is a fairly complex process behind the scenes to load all this content and, and make sure it's all going onto the platform appropriately. Um, so this is a little schematic of the, of the systems and workflows that we work with every day um, back in Philadelphia. Um, content comes in and it goes initially into um, a loader. So we've got content coming in from the Web of Science and other databases, and now we're loading in content from Cielo. That comes in an XML, it goes through a, a schema validation, uh, a little bit of data cleanup occurs, um, fixing up invalid characters, um, reproducing records or, or re returning records, corrections to records to make sure it goes through properly then goes into something called the open registry system. Um, and this compares the metadata to known items on the platform. So across the platform, we've got um, nearly 100 million uh, source records or article records that we've covered and over a billion cited references um, across all of the years of the Web of Science and the other databases. So as content is loaded, we try to make sure that we're matching that to existing articles so we can do the important unification to bring together records to make sure that we've got you know, a, a, the best representation of a particular article. Linking then occurs, in which case these sources are unified. Um, if there is a source already for an article that's come in, um, we link the references to the references that already exist and references to sources to make sure that all those sort of powerful citation connections and calculations of time cited counts can occur. 
There's some value add that occurs um, based on indexing that is done to records across some databases. Um, and those will be inherited for common records to enable the searcher uh, to discover even more content based on this indexing. It doesn't alter the actual Cielo record, uh, but it does complement it and allows that, that record to be retrieved if perhaps it was also covered in biosis and there was, for example, some taxonomic data that may have been added to it. Something called the Citation Product Repository um, does all the calculation and number crunching of those time cited counts. So it updates the record with that. And then it gets pushed through into the search engine indexing to ultimately create the Cielo Citation Index. So with that, um, I'll end my talk here and just say thank you again very much to Abel and the organizers of this conference. Um, we're really excited about this, this new database. Um, it is available on the platform and it's going to be made freely available to all of the Web of Science customers globally. Thank you very much.